Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Hi again everyone, a Heartland pitching ace puts on a show tonight at Hill House Park. East Prairie playing at Charleston in the annual Blue Red Battle of Mississippi County game. East Prairie right-hander Peyton Hodges on fire, gets the fly out here. It was just the start of bigger and better things really throughout the game. Strikeout right there. Then the East Prairie offense would also get going a little bit, and they got going a lot, really. Uh, Rafe Biasi scores a couple of runs right there, and hey, they're just rolling around those base paths like no problem. But we talked about Peyton Hodges, his pitching, stealing a base. He's not stopping, then he heads to third, and he says, hey, I'm going home. He goes all the way around, rounds third, scores right there, and East Prairie continuing to pour it on. Jarvis uh, drives in a run right there. He gets another one to score for East Prairie as they keep it moving, and they that's all they needed, it seemed like, because Hodges is just getting it done with great defense as well. He would run off the field, complete game shutout, struck out 12, only gave up three hits. East Prairie wins 10 to nothing over the Blue Jays. What a performance. Well, it's time to go for the SEMO baseball team. That's no doubt about it. Winning the OVC is their goal after stepping out of conference play last night and uh, they beat rival SIU 6-2. The Red Hawks get back into Ohio Valley Conference play Friday at home against Lindenwood. Second place, SEMO has nine league games left on the schedule to overtake leading uh, league leading Moorhead State. Now, as they look to build on that momentum last night with that win over the Salukis. You know, we lost a series to Moorhead. And it's a good bounce back win, especially for us Red Hawks right here going into this weekend against Lindenwood. Simo will host Lindenwood at 6 p.m. Friday. That's game one of that three-game series. Well, a trip to the NCAA tournament on the line in the final four of the OVC golf tournament at Dalhousie. Arkansas Little Rock and SIU Edwardsville. They were playing in the match play championship match in the afternoon session at Dalhousie. And a lot of really good shots out there. But, boy, Little Rock, when it was all said and done, they had some great ones. Check out the putt coming out right here. And when, and when you're hitting shots like that, making putts like that, yeah, you know the answer. You're going to the NCAA tournament. Little Rock would win it. Congratulations as they, congratulations, I should say, as they qualify for the NCAA. Well, it's on to the college ranks for a Notre Dame track and field star. Senior Jenna Givens signing with St. Louis University to compete in the triple jump. Givens talked about her Notre Dame connection at SLU. I have a, a former teammate up there, Evan Brenderman. And so just between both of them and learning more about the track program, I was really drawn there. Good luck to Jenna Givens. How about that? So cool. Uh, you get a really good look at the shots out there as well. The, the students behind her as she heads to St. Louis University. Well, after losing the first two games of the series at San Francisco, so far, so good for the Cardinals tonight as they look to bounce back in game three. St. Louis leads this one 2-0 in the third. Now, the big gun for them, if you will, Paul Goldschmidt. This guy is right in the middle of that lineup, right? You got to depend on him to, to hit the long ball. Well, so far, he's done it. Goldschmidt has two solo shots for St. Louis. You know how bad they want this game. And they lead it 2-0, also getting some good pitching. We'll see if they can Keep it going, move forward, and get that W. Uh, they have one more game left with the Giants tomorrow afternoon in that series. That's a look at sports.